Hey gang, it's Terry with Toxic Nados. Hey, I got in two watches from a friend of mine to do a review on, and I've never owned one of these before. The watches are called Hawaiian Lifeguard Association. So what does that mean? Honestly, I have no damn idea. But either way, it seems like they're affiliated with Hawaiian Lifeguards, but I'm not exactly sure. Maybe they're a, maybe these watches are part of a dive component with them, but uh, I'm not going to tell you something I have no idea on. So these watches sell for $250 a piece. They're 40, I'm reading the specs offline, so if they're not correct, then excuse me, but this is what they say online. It says 42 millimeters. Um, the black model, the number is HLA5502, and the blue model is HLA5405. Uh, both watches are 316L, stainless steel. This one is either PVD or DLC coating, not really sure. They have screw down crown. It says it's a Japanese movement, three hander. Um, that doesn't tell me anything, but that sounds cool. Mineral crystal on it. Uh, online it says it has 22 millimeter lugs. I think they're 24. And it says the watch is water resistant to 200 meters. So let's check them out. So I don't have a problem with mineral crystal. If they do scratch, they're scratched. You have to replace it. There's no fixing it as far as I know. Uh, I would prefer sapphire, but at $250, that's kind of tough to get. As a date window at three o'clock. Let's get a see what the size is on this crown. The crown is almost seven millimeters, pretty good size. It says 42 on specs online for the case. Forty one point seven. So let's check out lug to lug on this. Cause that's an important measurement. Forty nine point five. Pretty pretty long watch. But it looks like the case curves down really well. So I think it would fit great on the wrist. Let's get a thickness on the case. 13.5 so one thing I, I see right away that I really like about these watches is the loom pods on it they're huge and it's super legible I haven't tested the loom on it yet to see how long they last but I tell you what when you walk into a dark area they light up just like that um, bezel I think it's 120 clicks but I have to say there is some back play on it, but at $250, does that really matter? I don't know. It sounds really good though. Pretty precise. Might have a click spring in there that's real tight. So I don't think it would move on its own. If you had to ask me about these watches, I think they might be a catalog case. That means they're already pre-produced and then uh, this company had the design of the dial put onto it in their naming convention. But I might be wrong on that. But I do not believe it's a micro brand company per se. Let's get the lugs on this. I think they're 24 even though it says 22 online. No, it, it is 22 millimeters. Looks like 24 though in person. Let's compare it. Yeah, 24 millimeters. This strap, I think I saw a review and somebody said it's rubber. It is not rubber. It's polypropylene, so it's kind of a harder rubber. Is that bad? Not really. I actually like the design of the strap. It has a keeper holder right here, so it won't slide down on you. Let's see if let's see if we can cover this up. See the loom on that? Yeah, this is a ghetto loom shot for you guys. I'm working hard to get it, but. So my favorite is the DLC model. And the reason why is because DLC looks smaller than it actually is on the wrist. Maybe, I can't tell you why, but uh, most of DLC watches I, I have 
they just look smaller kind of disappear on the wrist a little bit if I had to pick between these two it definitely would be this one so one thing I did want to mention on this movement is the second hand it hits pretty close to the markers on the dial is it perfect no about halfway through it tends to to go off of the marker a little bit but for a $250 watch, what are you expecting out of it? Um, is there a better brand than this? Well, personally, if I was spending my money, this could not compete with a Scurfa. A Scurfa diver absolutely is my pick. First, they're, the brand owner is awesome. Second, you can talk to them. You get feedback. Third, customer service is excellent and you know the guy is a commercial diver not to say these guys aren't but when you read their website um, it looks like they're just a storefront really is that bad not really if I was on vacation and that dive shop was there this is the watch I'd pick up on the on the spot right there at the dive shop but since I have time to think about it it would I, I would have other choices for sure so check one out, you know, you never know. The watch might work for you because what works for me doesn't necessarily work for everybody else. But hey, hope you liked the video. If not, no worries. I know how to pound, pine, <laughs> I can't talk today. I know how to pound sand all on my own, but uh, please subscribe guys. It's all about you. Have a good one. Thanks for listening.